Hey, it's Chris Loud. In this video, I'm going to share with you five abstract painting examples from my warm up sketchbook that were inspired by one simple art prompt that honestly will probably make you roll your eyes. Uh, I've been using this as one of my go to prompts when I can't think of something to paint, and every time I come up with a unique painting. So I'll show you the examples that include the prompt image followed by four of the paintings. And then for the fifth example, I'll show you a sped up demo of that one being painted. So what is the idea for this art prompt? I call it cracks in the pavement or sometimes shapes in the sidewalk. Uh, so these images uh, that you're seeing right now are, are examples of that. The idea is to do a quick sketch or take a picture of some cracks in the pavement or shapes you see in the streets and sidewalks around you and then use those as the initial structure for your abstract painting. And here we'll get into the painting examples. So the cracks in the street, my sketch, and in the painting. And here is another one. Cracks in the street, my sketch, and the painting. Not all of them have a sketch. Here's the uh, cracks in the sidewalk. And this is a mixed media piece. So you can really do this with any uh, type of art for the most part. Um, and uh, really get some, some kind of fun results. So here's the, the fifth example. I'll show you the painting and then I'll go right into a painting demo. Uh, my sketches typically are not meant to be exact. They're just kind of catching the really the essence of, of the shapes um, for, for the uh, photo. And if you don't have a camera, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you can find uh, pictures of, of cracks in the pavement online um, pretty easily. But really, you know, when I'm doing this, this warm up uh, painting, just getting colors down and just seeing where it leads me. Um, I, my goal is to not make this look like a sidewalk, to use this just as kind of the jumping off point. So some of the paintings that I've done, I'll, I'll put the sketch down um, on, on the uh, piece of paper or the canvas and then I will sometimes just almost paint over all of it uh, with just a little bit of, of the original showing. So it's, it's really up to you. There are no rules with this. Um, if you're someone that likes some guidelines um, and some more, some more hard rules with, with uh, your prompts, I mean, you know, what I did on this one was I just picked two colors of paint. So I'm using Prussian blue and yellow ochre. And then I also, allow myself to use black and white for uh, mixing and, and getting some different shades but um, you really can go pretty far with with just a few tubes of paint so you don't need a lot to to do this exercise and again I'm doing this as a 15 minute warm-up painting just having fun loosening up and and just seeing what I can come up with uh, from from the get-go on on this uh, this prompt But if you like, uh, you know, prompts and and you use those often, and you'd like me to do more videos on those, please let me know in the comments. Um, even if you just put yes, um, that you you'd like to see more of those, and and uh, that lets me know um, to to make some more of these and and share some more of the prompts that I use. Um, and I'm always coming up with new ones or finding new ones online that uh, seem to really work well. Um, and if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And at the end of the this video, I'll share with you a couple of links to other videos that I've done that uh, involve prompts. One of those was one of the examples that I shared and it's just a 60 second demo, um, uh, just really sped up. So the other one is, is uh, one that I'm using a, a different prompt with. But also let me know if you, uh, if you use prompts. Um, I know several artists that use prompts a good portion of the time and then I know some other people that uh, have never used them and don't have any intention of using them. Um, I find them very helpful, especially those days where I, I'm ready to paint. I'm standing in front of the easel and and 
I'm just drawing a blank. Um, there's other days where I'll, I'll get there and I'll have so many ideas that um, I'll do several warm-up sketches and, and paintings. So um, let me know if those work for you or not. And if you don't have um, paved streets and sidewalks around you, I'm sure you can find some some good pictures online or even uh, just looking at cracks in, in uh, on dirt roads and, and paths and things. Again, this, these uh, warm-ups are really, they're not to be meant, uh, or meant to be masterpieces. They're, they're really just a time to have fun and, and loosen up. And uh, I try not to spend too much time on them, and sometimes I'll finish and, and want to keep going. Um, but I'll show you the 15-minute uh, the image here. I'm almost done. And then I'll also share those links. Um, so I'll put the the 60-second uh, demo for the, the uh, painting I showed in this video. I'll put that up on the left. So here's the final painting, and here are the two links uh, to see the other videos if you want to see those. So keep on painting, and thanks for watching.